what do you need to uh, program a microcontroller uh, you need four things basically and uh, we'll talk about each one in more detail so you need a microcontroller this is actually the uh, a very popular abbreviation for microcontroller you need a programmer you need an IDE which is short for integrated development environment and that is actually composed of uh, two basic things which is a compiler and a text editor lastly you need basic circuit building skills so like knowing how to use a breadboard and stuff like that and I'll show you in a moment so let's look at each uh, of these components separately so before I show you each of these components what you have to know is that there are several companies that uh, make microcontrollers and each of those companies have their own programmer their own uh, compilers so let's look at two popular companies one of them is microchip the other one is Atmel so these two companies uh, make their own microcontrollers so like I said uh, the first item you need is a microcontroller each company has their uh, different types of microcontrollers you can see here a list of all the uh, microcontrollers microchip has from 8 bits all the way to 32 if you go to Atmel's, Atmel's website as well you can browse the uh, the list of uh, the list and types of microcontrollers that they sell whenever I see, so now we're at this uh, so now we're looking at this item that you need the programmer so the programmer it's a device that is used to send the code from your computer to the chip so one end of the device in this case this end will go to your computer the other end will go to the chip you want to program right now we're looking at the uh, microchips PitKit 3 debugger and programmer you know uh, both companies Admiral and Microchip actually have uh, many programmers and it just depends on how advanced you want to get with uh, microcontrollers so this is a very basic programmer it actually costs around fifty dollars and if you are a student you can actually get it for a uh, twenty five percent discount so you get all the uh, features that it has here and they actually they also sell kits that come with a programmer so this is uh, one of the programmers for microchip this is one of the uh, programmers for Admel uh, in this case for this one this end would go to your computer through a uh, USB cable this uh, other this other end goes to the chip so that's what a programmer is let's talk about the uh, development environment microchips development environment is called MP lab so this is a screenshot of the uh, development environment like I said uh, you're basically looking at a, a text editor and a compiler it has a lot more features but that's the uh, that's the basics of what it is and uh, there's actually also several compilers for uh, each each company microchip and admin and there these compilers are sometimes third-party compilers and if you're not familiar with compilers the compiler is just gonna translate the code that you write in uh, in the language of your choice or whatever the the company offers it will tr the compiler will translate that language into code that you will then upload to the microchip 
so uh, one of the compilers for microchip is uh, the C18 which is used to program PIC18 family microcontrollers another uh, compiler for the microchip microcontrollers is a high tech C and it gives you a list of the types of uh, microcontrollers that you can uh, program so like a PIC10, PIC12, PIC16, PIC18, PIC32, DSPIC Admel like I said also has uh, its own development environment and this one actually comes with a uh, with the editor and the compiler already so once you install the editor and the compiler I mean once you install the development environment you already have the editor and the compiler but of course there are also other uh, compilers that you can use so you don't have to use the one they offer if you don't want you can find uh, an open source uh, alternative so the uh, development environment for Admel is called Admel Studio lastly basic circuit building skills so let me show you the schematic required to program a uh, PIC which is the name given to the microchip microcontrollers so when you buy the uh, programmer in this case a PIC 3 is going to come with a manual and that manual is going to show you the connections required to program a chip so you can see here that uh, uh, on this side the, the programmer actually has uh, I think five or six holes and it tells you wh where each of the holes are go to the microcontroller so you would uh, basically open up the data sheet for your microcontroller and uh, find the names of the pins that are in the manual so in this case we have pin 1 connected to the VPP or MCLR so if you go to your data sheet you're gonna see that in your if in, in this case if you buy a PIC18 F242 chip that would be pin 1 so pin 1 of the programmer goes to pin 1 of the chip pin 5 of the programmer goes to PGC which is pin 27 on the chip and this will be how the circuit looks so that's how you connect the, uh, mic the programmer to the chip you want to program and then just through the uh, development environment you will just click a button and it will compile and upload the code to the chip uh, this will be a schematic to program an Atmel, microcontro uh, an Atmel microcontroller so this is a programmer and like I said one side goes uh, connected to your computer the other side goes connected to the chip so this is just a uh, schematic that I used so these are the pins on the uh, programmer and once again you just gotta find those pins on your microcontroller and just make the connections and this is just a picture of the uh, development environment they actually, Admo actually uses uh, Visual Studio if you are familiar with that so those are the uh, tools you need to get started programming microcontrollers if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below